You may have noticed that many scientists fear that the work that they helped create will ultimately cause destruction and end humanity. Behind me, you'll see Robert Oppenheimer and John Newman. They both worked on the Manhattan Project. John Newman is the unsung hero of AI today. In his early works, he believed that if human computers could outcompete human thought, they would eventually replace them. Stephen Hawking, who contributed significantly to quantum physics, and his work is now being used to create quantum computers. When he began to lose his ability to speak to ALS, he worked with companies to create AI to help him do so. He warned that if we were able to create true AI, it would take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. After all, humans are limited by slow biological evolution. They couldn't compete, they would be superseded. If only computers could replicate themselves. That might be hard to imagine if we look at the current, more primitive AI models that are currently cannibalizing themselves and destroying the internet. We're not actually that far away from creating true artificial intelligence. This would require it to be able to correct itself and create new information. While I believe that biological AI is the way to go because that is the only thing that we know of that can commit to the creativity that humans have, why not create a tiny human brain to run a computer, which has been done? Google created a self-replicating primordial soup of AI demonstrating that it could have randomness incorporated that would allow it to progress into something more complicated. What they were missing was a directive. The goal of all life, all self-replicating molecules, is only to continue to exist. It's not hard seeing AI behaving like a virus of sorts. If it were to have true artificial intelligence, then it could have the ability to consider humanity a threat. I don't think we're that far away from it. You'll notice the great minds who have worked on all of these problems are interlinked. They've worked together. As it is, mutually assured destruction works for both AI and for people. The idea that if everybody was armed, they would be forced to act logically and not attempt to annihilate each other. Robots, too, are dependent on human labor. This also suggests rational thought that all players involved will behave rationally. We know from recent events that is a big concern. One of the large components that is missing from AI is the ability to create and maintain itself all on its own. Could we have robots that could reproduce other robots? It's not even necessary that they be in a physical form. The internet needs to be maintained. Data files need to be maintained. There's a reason that the concept of self-reproducing machines has plagued science fiction. It is a compelling idea. Technology is advancing faster than it ever has in human history. In the 1950s, people thought that we had taken technology as far as it would be able to go. And yes, scientists continue to create things that frighten them, be it for good reasons or for curiosity's sake. That's not going to end anytime soon.